If you're concerned about what websites your children are visiting, there are a couple of things you can do. First, you can use parental controls from your ISP to limit the sites that your child can view. This can be individual sites, plus depending on the controls offered, you can select to restrict certain types of sites. To check what sites have been viewed, all browsers let you check the browser history. In Internet Explorer, for example, click the history icon. Here you'll find a list of sites visited and you can click on these links to revisit the sites and check their content. If there is more than one browser on the computer, say if you have Chrome and Firefox and Safari, you will need to check the history for each browser. When looking at the history, if there are a few links on the days that you know that your child has been viewing web pages, this could mean a couple of things. Your child could have deleted the browser history or with some browsers used incognito mode where details of websites visited are not stored. If they have deleted the history, then some of the files from the sites they have visited could still be stored in temporary internet files. This is where files are downloaded onto the computer in a temporary file as web pages are viewed. These are not deleted along with the browser history, but can be deleted separately. To view these files in Internet Explorer, go to Tools, Internet Options, Settings, then View Files. Again, if this area is empty or has very few files, your child may have deleted these. If you are concerned about what websites your child is visiting, the best way to control access to sites is via parental controls from your ISP. However, if they have a mobile device with a separate internet connection, do remember they can bypass these controls. Hope that's been useful. I'm at Wellbeloved. I'll see you soon.